So in the first lesson, we looked at uh, a quick overview of cloners, effectors, and fields. So we're going to take a look at the cloner in more detail. Okay, so I'm just going to create a cube and I'm going to make it smaller, say 22 centimeters. Now here's a trick. If you hold down Alt and go to MoGraph while holding Alt and click Cloner, it automatically makes uh, the cube a child. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to add a few more clones. So if we increase the X, this value here, it adds uh, clones along the X axis. Now in the previous lesson, I showed you, if you click on endpoint, it kind of respects the bounding bounding box region. So now when I add clones, uh, it doesn't change the size of the bounding box, which is useful. If we increase the Z count, so uh, basically in 3D, this is X, the X dimension, that's the Y dimension, this is the Z dimension. If I increase the clone count in Z, we add clones along the blue Z axis. I'm going to add one along the Y axis. Nothing happens. That's because we need to create a gap or uh, what they call size. So if I just increase this here, you'll see that second uh, row matrix of uh, clones along the Y axis. I can add a few more, three, Okay, I'll just stick to one for now. Also, we can add uh, multiple objects into a cloner. So I can add a cone. Let me just make it smaller. I can also add a sphere. Make it smaller. And as you can see, they uh, it goes uh, sphere, cube, cone, sphere, cube, cone. If you want to make the distribution random, click on Cloner, and instead of Iterate, pick Random here, and now you have a more uh, random distribution. That's better. Now, we have a couple of uh, modes here. So this is a grid mode, basically uh, an XYZ matrix. If we click on Linear, it's basically a one-dimensional uh, cloner. So if we increase the count, it just extends upwards. I'm just going to delete the cone and sphere. And we can still use a per step and endpoint here. So if I choose endpoint and increase the count, it happens within the bounded region. If I choose per step, it kind of expands the bounding region. Now here's a cool trick. If you just click, uh, let's just put a keyframe at 10. Just click here on the diamond and let's go to frame 50 and increase the offset. Place a keyframe and as you can see, you can create like a quantized uh, pixel animation effect. Just a little tip. If you right click, go to animation and delete track, it just deletes the whole animation. Uh, we have radial mode, which well, here's a shortcut. If you just hit H, kind of frames all the objects. So radial mode, uh, yeah, again, increase the count and the radius. Pretty basic. And finally, we have the object uh, mode. So if we just go to object, nothing happens. That's because we need to create, give it an object. So let's just create a landscape and still nothing. That's because in the cloner, we need to drag and drop landscape into the object field. So it basically knows what it's cloning onto. And if we increase the count, it just scatters more uh, clones on the surface and you can go beyond 100. And what happens if we put an effector? It basically detaches from the surface. So that's a quick brief introduction to the cloner. We're going to do some more uh, complicated examples next. I'll catch you in the next lesson.